So this is a short video to describe how to get the speech to text app working in MATLAB and to be able to run the code that we've prepared to convert analog data recorded with potentially laser vibrometers or other measurement devices into transcribed text. So first we need to launch MATLAB and there are some prerequisite add-ons that would need to be installed which include the audio toolbox which requires that you also have the DSP system and signal processing toolboxes installed. So that's one of the requirements. There are a list of add-ons that I have installed on this uh, system which I'll show here that includes as I say audio toolbox, uh, DSP system toolbox and signal processing toolbox at least. There are some more in that list there but I, I'm not sure which of them. I don't think any of the other ones are required for this particular script. So in MATLAB the first thing we have to do, so we start in this directory, of course we have to right click add to path selected files and folders. Within the speech to text folder these data have been shared and are available within the Vibration Lab BH Capstone project teams. You, you can see that uh, there is an offline folder um, and in here is the installation material for MATLAB. So as well as having those add-ons we need to set up the run this setup script. Uh, I've already done this on this installation but it will require that this setup script is ran. Uh, things that are important in here are that we have three options for speech to text that are include the, that are Google, IBM and Microsoft. I'm using Microsoft text to speech as uh, speech to text. Um, when we do the installation there is a license file in here that will be need need to be put in a specific location and there is also in one of the folders we have some other prerequisites there's a JSON file uh, that lives in a certain location um, just this JSON file here this Microsoft credentials uh, JSON file which is all included in the zip file. Um, we should browse to the folder from which we're running the script. So go to the offline folder, uh, launch this one. This is an edited version that I've produced. Here you can see it was written by Joseph. Um, it will work through here. We can change some of these, obviously these arguments in here. There are some subroutines that it's calling along the way. Um, all of these need to be in the correct location in the in the root folder so you can see closed data table here particularly sits in this location. Um, we can change out the particular files which it opens so I've made some alternative versions of this script uh, to open up some different scripts so for example I've got another script over here which I've made. Th these are some of the WAV WAVs so we can s create scripts for example that open up these WAVs which are in this root folder here. So there's lots of options to modify the script that's being uh, opened and interpreted by MATLAB but we, once we're in this folder and we've we've browsed to the offline folder where that script is sitting because it needs to open some of these pieces of material here you can see clean, these clean speech WAVs etc that it's pulling from so we can run this one. We used a couple of some some readily available um, downloadable standard uh, speeches that have come from the internet um, and so there are a range of different male voices, female voices. We just selected a couple of male and female voices here. You can see it's now classifying into different speakers. So nothing here, a speaker here, nothing here, some speech here. It gives us an error message. It's still processing and hopefully the sound will come through as it plays it back. Here's one piece of speech, here's the next voice. And you can see nicely that it classifies into speaker 1 and speaker 2 here and here is the transcribed, transcribed script below with some statistics about the timestamps at which each of these pieces of speech occurred. That's the process for running this script and exploring it. Uh, I hope that's a helpful video. Good luck.